evening all. Just going to do a video showing off my most recent commission that I finished. This is the Goblin King throwing a goblin. It was released again um, for a made to order last year. I've just finished painting this for Josh. I'm going to be delivering it to him at the um, East Anglia Communities Not GT Tournament, which is happening the same weekend that the Warhammer World GT is happening in um, Nottingham. Only this one's going to be held at the Scout Hut in Epping. Um, so, mm -hmm. finished painting this guy mm -hmm. a little while ago. I've had a bit of issues with the varnishing for it. So, I used the my normal Army Painter um, Aegeus Suit Varnish. And that's a satin varnish. So, it does dry shiny. And it leaves a nice solid coat so that the paint won't rub off. I then used the anti-shine varnish, but for the first time ever, it did complete opposite of what it should have done. Rather than give me a matte finish, it actually left me with an even more glossy surface. So after a little bit of experimentation, I used some matte medium that I've got through my airbrush, and it's actually toned down the gloss completely, so now I've got the finish I wanted. So this kit is uh, made out of resin, it's not Forge World, it's regular um, Games Workshop. So that means you get the, well it's fine cast. You get all of the funny triangular shapes where the air is, I, th I believe it's where the air escapes out of the mould. So cleaning this up and assembling it was a bit of a pain. But once it's together he does look really cool. So had a bit of a go using the airbrush for this just to get some different tones on the skin but then after doing that I put in a couple of washes and then just started layering up flesh cut different flesh colors I wanted to make sure it was quite defined so the recesses in the sort of like flabby bits are quite profound I've left them slightly obvious well, very obvious If we zoom in on the face, you can see it's a nice amount of detail on the face, the eyelids, the bags under the eyes. I managed to capture those. I went in and added some extra detail, adding some veins just to make him look a little bit more disgusting. A little bit of um wet blending and a few very thin layers around the spots then picked them out with a yellowy white colour overall it's, it's a very it was a relatively simple model to paint all in all but just a little bit more time consuming because I've not painted this much flesh on a single model in one go before you also got to be very careful with the fine cast that you don't break any of it. There's a nice level of detail on the goblin as well, which is being thrown. Overall, very nice model, relatively quick to do. And he'll look great leading a Goblin Town army. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.